TEDxers. How you doing? Hello? So many tales of perseverance today. This is a tale of annoyance. That's how I got up here. Now, I, this is the first time I've ever, um, oh, thank you, by the way. Thank you very much for that. I, um, I'm not rude. I was raised right. My mom's not here. Anyway, so uh, this is the first time I've ever attended a TED, TEDx thing. This is really cool. I love this. This is beautifully done. I've seen them online, but this is my first time attending them. And I thought, this is great. And then I thought, I want to get up there and talk into a microphone and get my voice out. And I, and I approached her, and I went backstage, and I said, hey, Sarah, put your pepper spray away. This is fine. I just want to get on stage. I want my voice to be heard. She said, no. And I said, I have something to get off my chest. I want people to hear it. She said, no. I slipped her 20 bucks. She said, the stage is right this way. <laughs> Sold out. No integrity whatsoever. She has just instantly. And now I'm, I'm here. This is great. This is a beautiful surrounding. I mean, it's, it's wonderful circular red carpet. It's like a, a giant bindi on the forehead of free expression and ideas. <laughs> uh, look up bindi for those who don't know what that is. Uh, it's a delightful thing. Now, I... Now, to do a, a TED Talk, you have to have something interesting to say. I wasn't going to let that stop me. Um, <laughs> and to be able to relate to people, you know, have something that, that gets on their level. Now, I know I don't have as much in common as a lot of the speakers, but some of the stuff with the previous speakers I do, like Dr. Billings, uh, Billings, I believe this is correct, uh, he was talking about sports, or sport. I've never heard it without the S before. <laughs> kind of kind of weirded me out. Uh, <laughs> are you in the sport, son? Uh, which one, father? Uh, so I don't really have much to do about sports. My only, you know, dodgeball, fourth grade, I was a champion. I was a god among men in the fourth grade. Uh, but my only real brush with sports is, uh, my name is Chris Davis, and uh, Auburn University football player, um, also has a name, Chris Davis, and uh, a year or two ago, he was in Iron Bowl, and he ran this incredible touchdown for like either 50 yards or 700 yards. I don't know how long it was, <laughs> but I think scientists calibrate their instruments because of what he did that day. And people will come up to me and say, oh, are you Chris Davis who ran the touchdown? It's like, no. <laughs> I am uh, that Chris Davis in Auburn. He is black, young, and athletic. I am one of those three things. <laughs> I appreciate the confusion. <laughs> uh, because I don't run, all right? It is against my beliefs. <laughs> I don't run unless I'm being chased or late for a bus. That is, that is it. That's the only reason. Uh, so not really into athletics. I can't relate too much there. But I can relate to uh, Casey. Casey, the American ninja warrior who does not look Japanese at all to me. Um, and that was an incredible accomplishment. You saw the video of her running up the wee. That was pretty awesome. Uh, I can't relate to that. I, I, can't, I don't have that kind of dexterity in training. Uh, I do know that uh, she said she was five foot tall. That was like a thing she thought would hold her back. I can relate to that. I too used to be five foot tall. <laughs> but I grew out of it and uh, it was a phase I like to call being 14 years old. So, so I guess I can't relate to that anyway. But, um, but Quan, Quan, the, the poet earlier, wonderful, wonderful poet. Um, I can't really retain poetry and scripts. The only poetry I retain is from when I was five years old. So, but he's like a very cool spoken word guy. So I'm sure I can jump in there and, and do that and just hickory dickory dock. The mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down, down, down into a pit of despair and regrets. <laughs> Why wasn't I born a cat? Why wasn't I born a cat? I don't. Um, pretty, I, I think I'll let Quan stick to that. He's really good at that. I am, I'm not very good at that. Uh, and, and, and so many other things involved uh, tonight. Uh, let's, like, Mr. Um, uh, Mr. Stewart. Mr. Stewart. He climbs mountains. He climbs mountains. Like, all these incredible mountain peaks. I, I, that's just really daunting to me. 
and I can relate to him in a way. I've never climbed a mountain like that before. I've never traversed these huge peaks. But one time, I was in a mall, <laughs> three-story mall. The escalator broke. <laughs> and I traversed that peak to get to my goal. My goal happened to be Banana Republic, but I achieved my goal of khaki chinos, two for $20. That's what I, I did. It was an amazing feat. I'm sure you're all very impressed by what I've done. And uh, you know, there was one more person, and I wrote, I wrote down what they did, and I was really, really inspired by it. And that was me. <laughs> Having the courage to get up here, just on this stage, amongst you people. But, but now that I reflect, I, I really, I shouldn't have, I should have given her more than 20 bucks because this is hard, this is difficult, right? To get up here and spill your guts and, and do all these things. And so it's not that simple to do a TED talk. You need to really prepare. You need to really get ready and have something to share with people. And I realize that now that I'm up here. <laughs> so one day my real dream is to do an actual TED talk, to be uh, asked to be on a TED talk. And I want to do something that's important and that means something to somebody. To not just me, not just people in this city or state in this country, but all over the world. Something we can, can even if we disagree, something we can relate to. And if I were gonna give that TED talk, I know exactly what that TED talk would be about. And I know exactly what my first line of my pivotal, important TED talk would be. The color of the dress is white with gold trim. <laughs> All right? It is not black and blue. Maybe you have astigmatism, or you're colorblind, or have a head wound, I don't know. There is no debate. Come up to the lobby and ask me, and we'll talk about it. My name is Chris Davis. Thank you. Good night.